At the very beginning of this song, you're going to hear a very faint uh, organ line in the background or something like that. It's like a synth or an organ or something like that that opens this song. You're going to be playing this in the left hand. This is an A down here, and you're going to be playing a D minor. D, F, A. And you just hold this. And then whenever you want, you come in with like the verse riff. So that's just what you start on. That's your introduction, I guess. Now the low end guitar is the best place to really get going in this song. It gives the song a lot of momentum. It may seem a little intimidating, but once you break it down, really not that hard. I took It took me about 20 minutes to learn this. So ready? You have your A, A, C, E, E, C, B. And that just repeats again. So you go A, A, C, E, E, C, B. And then there's a quick hit in like the third measure. So it's hit. F, A, C, F, E, C, E, G sharp, A, B, G sharp, A, and then it's E, loop starts over again. So once all the way through, this is your left hand low end guitar. It just keeps going. That's your left hand low end guitar. So you may get a little intimidated with how much the right hand shifts around for the backing loop. Again, don't get intimidated by it. It's just a matter of getting comfortable with it and once you do you're going to realize that there's not that much going on and you don't have to hit that many actual notes. With that in mind, you're going to start down here on this low A right here. And then you're going to go A, C, E, A, F. C, F, B, E, A, C, E, A, F, D, C, D, E, A, G sharp, B, E, and then you go A, A. And then right before you go back into the loop again, you play this. This is a G sharp diminished chord composed of G sharp, D, or excuse me, G sharp, B, and D, and this is going to coincide with that E that you played at the very end of the left hand loop. So with all those notes that I just showed you in mind, this is what your right hand should sound like for your backing track. so on and so forth. That's the right hand for your main backing track. Putting together those two parts that I just showed you, you should get something like this for your core backing track. And so forth. That's your core backing track to this song. Then Eminem's vocal line from the chorus is going to go as follows in the right hand. D E D E E C D C D C D E C D C D C D E A A G sharp G sharp A B G sharp A so once to the chorus should sound something like this in the right hand. And then after that I usually like to add in the extra two little A hits that we remember from the end of our backing track and then I throw in that little extra chord with the E before I start the loop again. I'll show you how it all works in a sec. But yeah, that's your vocal line from the chorus. Putting together Eminem's vocal line in the same left hand that we learned from earlier for our core backing track, you should get something like this for your chorus.
cleaning out my closet, but I'm a numb.